Uh, good evening guys. Okay, so I've done a few of these but uh, I'm gonna hopefully uh, get to confirm it on this one. Um, okay, so with regards to the shop uh, opening right right da the Selangor government has uh, come out to say that uh, they're going to make some further restrictions. Uh, they've covered a couple of things and the rest is quite ambiguous and vague. So if you've been following my post, this is me being the change that I want to see. I'm going to make this decision right now that for this week, this coming week, the shop will not be open. I will not be open for business this week. Okay. And I make no apology for it. First of all, I'm going to say personally that the announcement for the CMCO came way too early because of the figures that proved the last two days. Please get that right now. Huh? Okay. The announcement came too early because the figures are still high. Not the figures are high because of the announcement. Thank you. The other thing is this. Um, if you're not aware 100%, if I were to give you a pop quiz and you don't hit 100% score on C19, please, please go and do some reading, do some homework. Find out how easy it is to catch it. Or how difficult it is to catch it, perhaps. What happens when you get it? What are the chances either way? Most importantly, go and read and see how easily you could possibly pass this thing on to someone. Or a group of people. Because a funny thing happened today. Right after I gave you all the uh, update, I had to go downstairs of my apartment to go and pick up something. I entered the lift. There was a lady in there. She had her mask on, I had my mask on. But I have never seen, I have never seen two people play merry-go-round as crazily as she did. Even if I were to reach out full length, and I'm quite a tall guy, eh, and add my leg to it, there was no way I could have touched her. Okay, but she freaked out. She didn't need to. We were protected. We were in contact in the same area for less than, I don't know, 10 seconds. All right. But in some other situations, she had every right to do that. So I just feel it's funny that some people uh, overemphasize certain things and don't even know of certain other things. Because this is the great thing about Malaysia. My friend said, uh, my friend told me, uh, do your own research. Go figure it out. Get the correct information for yourself. Okay? So we will not be open this week. So what are we going to do this week to get you your supplies? Well, we're going to do the usual Wednesday pickup. This will be the eighth round of Wednesday pickup. Amazing, isn't it? How time flies. Huh? Six weeks and eight rounds. Guys, this time, the order sheet has got to be completed verbatim. Okay? What I ask for, I need. I really do. Let me give you an example. When I ask you to reference your name on the deposit, and you don't. You reference things like the juices that you're ordering, uh, all sorts of funny things, all right? Your order may be the same as somebody else's. I don't mind doing that for you if it's the only one. Keep in mind, you are not my only friend. You are not my only customer. You are certainly not the only one that's ordering for Wednesday. And like all humans do, you're not ordering early either. You're ordering last minute. Okay? So please help me out. Alright? Here is a scenario of what actually happens. And I'm going to tell it. And I know some of you are going to laugh for sure. Because from 3 to 3.30 every Wednesday, this is exactly what happens. I get a whole group of private people and pickup riders coming. First pickup rider at the door, I will ask, Who are you picking up for, bro? He goes, Elvin. I'm like, I'm Elvin. I am Elvin. What the heck are you giving me the information for? So, okay, I get smarter. And I ask them, Hey, bro, where are you sending it to? And they give me your address. Funny, right? Until such time, he's got to be standing there for minutes. I've got to be standing there for minutes, trying to figure out who this order is. What happens in the meantime? Another driver comes. A uh, private person is there, and in times of MCO, do you think a crowd is noticeable or not? 
it's okay. If I get shut down, that's cool. It's my business, all right? It's also my fine to pay. But I can't supply you your needs if that were to happen. Can I? Here's another thing. A lot of you may not know this because maybe I look more than that. Maybe I look a little bit less than that. I'm going to be turning 50 in about three months' time. 50, okay? My memory is not as good as it used to be, number one. Number two, when I'm under stress, my memory is almost non-existent. So if you are going to rely on my memory to be responsible for your needs at this time, uh, not a good idea, okay? The other thing I want to tie into my age is this. Why would you put a 50-year-old in harm's way of C19? For half an hour, I've got to deal with all these people. You don't give me the information, I've got to be in a crowd with these people. I don't know who these people have interacted with. Did you know how easy it is to pass it on? That's why I asked you to do some research in the beginning, okay? Because guys, here's the thing. I love every single one of you, I do. I need you to survive. You need me to provide you your freedom in vaping. Whatever we do or we don't do, whatever we do or we don't do will ultimately affect us. Right. Okay? So I'm not upset. I'm not scolding. You know how animated I get when I talk. It's my way of being a drama queen. But seriously, consider what it is I'm asking for if you don't know why, I don't mind you asking me. But please, don't just ignore, okay? Because it will affect you ultimately. And I don't want to do that. So help me to provide the best service that I want to provide back to you. Order form, new one. Template coming out. I provided how to fill it. Please follow and do it accordingly. I need it that way. Here's another scenario, okay? I know you as, let's say for example, A. But your bank account name is under Mr. B, C, D. I ask you to make the deposit, you put down strawberry as a reference. Do you know how many people vape strawberry? Okay. Then you order your pickup. Actually, no, you don't. Somebody else orders the pickup because you don't have the Grab account or whatever it is. That person doesn't reference your name and you like to send me your order before you deposit the funds in reality this is what happens ping i pick it up go, oh this fellow wants this fine i go to my order sheet i put it down ping next thing comes oh i will bank in later i'm like why uh? why uh? why uh? isn't my instruction to bank in before i'll bank in later fine okay so that's left hanging or later on the person banks it in then he contacts me again then i need to go to my phone again log into the account see whatever has come through shut it down while another 50 people are doing exactly the same thing then the day comes and the crowd builds and i'm in danger of never being able to provide you your needs ever again so please now that you've seen things from a different point of view i hope you understand why i need those things that i need i've thought about it all of it all right, so that's to do with the orders. Uh, on a personal note, as well as business note, I don't want to change you. There is no way that I can. I can only change myself, okay? But if you understand that what you do, the reality is from a different point of view, perhaps you might consider. I'm an old guy. I'm 50 years old. My phone is my only connection to everything. In a normal situation, I can handle, I can just about handle it if somebody goes ping, 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 ping. But when 50 people do that, guess how I'm going to feel. Right? That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so business, I'm not opening. Orders, new order form, please complete the way I need it to to ensure that I get to provide you the best service that I want to give you so that you continue to get your product and nothing detrimental happens to me which will then affect your supply chain, okay? So think about what you're doing because the result will come for you. On a personal note, <sighs> you 
it amazes me that up till now, a lot of people out there still put their lives into the hands of people who don't even know you. It amazes me that people are so nonchalant about this C-19, which is why I've asked a lot of you to go and do some research. It amazes me that people don't look after themselves. If this experience has not given us a kick up the ass to look after our own needs, ensure our own safety, and be responsible for ourselves, I don't want to be around, eh, when the next worst thing comes to try and kick our butts into gear. I really don't. A lot of people think this virus is a joke without realizing that it is here to stay for at least, at least the next 10, 20, 30 years. Your unborn children may have to deal with it for the rest of their lives. I will probably die with COVID-19 still healthy. There needs to be a change of behavior about how we look at certain things that will affect not just us, but those around us. I know, I know, in Malaysia especially, I'm so tired of hearing it. You know, uh, my friend told me, uh, you know, uh, my friend told me, uh, your friend is COVID-19 when your brother is it? Uh? Or your friend actually works in the front line dealing with hundreds more cases than have ever been reported in any media. Think about it for a second. Life as we know it, you're looking forward to go back to it in your dreams. When is the next time you're gonna be able to go out and watch a movie? Just think about that for a second. When is the next time you're gonna be able to share your vape with your friend? Think about that for two seconds. You got three seconds? Think about this. Will you ever be able to greet your family and your friends who have not been with you in the last two weeks the same way ever again. I'm sorry to send this kind of message, but it is because I care. Care enough for you to go and do some research and then you decide for yourself how you want to look after yourself. Because I can only do what I can do, which reminds me, as far as the shop goes, normal will never be again. There's nothing more that I enjoy than to have a chat with you guys. I'm never going to be able to do that. So, take responsibility. Go find out. And if you find out something, that is different to what I've been saying here today, please come back and educate me. I'm open, please. I don't know it all. I don't, I don't, I don't. It's taken me 50 years to get to where I am, which is not that far ahead because I'm still trying to learn things that some of you have known for the last 20, 30 years. But if I share what I've learned, what I'm currently still learning, and that gives you an idea and it helps you to fast track, why not? But if that gives you an idea and you go and double check it and it's wrong, then please come back and inform me because I did it in that spirit. I expect it to come back the same way. All right, enough of what? <laughs> enough of this preaching, okay? That's not what the intention is. Please, every single one of you, take care. Be safe. I look forward to seeing you when I can. You have a good one, eh? Good night.